Hey, good afternoon. Um, just wanted to pop on real quick for a message. Um, I'm a little bit late for lunchtime on the lanai, but I still wanted to get online. Um, it's been a pretty busy day, so it's been a little challenging to get on, but I still wanted to come on for a minute uh, before the end of the day and the the crazy, you know, kids and dinner and that whole fun routine starts. So I wanted to just pop on really quickly and um, I haven't figured out yet how to post the videos on my um, on my business page or the Trailblazers, the uh, Trailblazing Leaders Facebook page. Um, but when I do, these videos are going to just go on there. So um, hi Lori, hi Jen, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, I wanted to get on today with a quick message about um, how we sometimes can battle ourselves. Um, most of us have seen the movie Forrest Gump, which I think is um, is a pretty cool movie. And you know, several years ago, I was going through a situation in my life, and I remember feeling so much like I was Lieutenant Dan, really just fighting myself, fighting my soul, and you know, it was like the more I fought it, the harder the, the, the fight became. And I remember at the time just feeling, you know, once I got over the situation thinking, oh, well, this is kind of funny because the only one I'm really fighting is myself. So, you know, fast forward a few years and there have been a lot of challenges and a lot of, uh, you know, great wins ever since. And I found myself again, you know, I do, I don't know about you, but I do most of my really good thinking in the shower or in the toilet. Hi, mom. <laughs> Mom's on. Um, and I, and maybe because, I mean, you know, as a mom, a working mom, I work at home. Um, so when the kids are off school, they're here with me. So there's not really a lot of time to just, you know, go in the corner and think about stuff and spend a lot of time journaling and, you know, doing the things that are important. So I find that when I can get a moment away, it's probably in the shower or, you know, locking myself in the bathroom, pretending I actually need to be in there when I don't. So anyway, so I'm in the shower today and it hit me and I wanted to get online because I realized that our versions of Lieutenant Dan moments where we're, we're fighting ourselves, where um, sometimes if we would just let things go, they would be so much easier. It, just not fight it. Just let go of whatever it is you're resisting. And it sounds a lot easier just to say it than it is to go through it. So if you've ever fought yourself about anything and not really sure why you're resistant to something and you know it's better for you and you know you'll be fine if you can just you know, move through it or let it go or what have you. Um, you know, hey Howard, thanks for joining. Uh, good to see you. Um, Teresa, nice to see you. Ciao, Bella. So I, I was, I was getting this message in the shower today and, um, and I realized that we go through different levels of fighting ourselves. So when I was in a point in my life where I was so, so down and just really not making the best decisions and not sure why things weren't going well for me, um, you know, I fought myself really, really hard and the battle was tough. But as I've moved through that, I realize I have little moments along the way where I'm still fighting myself, where I'm still, there's, there are still these fears, still these, these voices that say you can't do it or you shouldn't do it or you should just hide and protect yourself and, and not expose yourself and, and your true feelings. And so, you know, I have people who private message me all the time and thank me for the messages that I'm putting out here. And I'm not doing this so that I can, you know, go back and watch myself seven times because let me tell you something, I do not rewatch these videos if I can help it at all. I'm, I'm not really crazy about seeing myself on them, but I know that I have messages to share and I hope that they can help you in some way. Just, you never know what another person is going through. So as I was thinking about my most previous Lieutenant Dan moment, 
you may or may not have seen some of the postings on my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, where I really open up and unleash and get really honest because for me, that's the only way that I was able to move forward. I kept this protective layer over myself and even when I thought I was being real and honest with you, I wasn't fully. I was still holding so much back and and it was and every time I, I do, it's because I he, I'll hear like another layer from you know, childhood or my past or or whenever and and it tells me I can't do something. I hear the voice that says, "Well, you can't do that because they won't like you or you can't do that because you're not smart enough or you can't do that and now this is a good one. you can't do that because you're too old and like uh, what? You know, I just did the math and I have an awful lot more years until I get even close to retirement age. So the way I look at it, for at least the next 20 years, I'm going to be pretty darn busy. And and so it was just for me a matter of re reshaping and reframing the voices in my head and what I hear myself say. So if you wouldn't mind, um, I see a bunch of you on. If you Okay, mom, great. That's perfect. I just wanted to make sure that you guys can still see me and hear me. Um, I know that my signal comes in and out sometimes and honestly my phone just drops calls when it wants to which is always fun when you're on the phone with GoDaddy troubleshooting a website issue at midnight you know because you want to call them three times and go back through that two more times and then leave them a really really good review when they email you to follow up anyway so but that's my fault that is not them so they get great reviews because they really uh, handled my situation pretty well anyway so back to the topic I think it's so important when we recognize the times that we are having lieutenant Dan moments with ourselves you know in Forrest Gump he was he was so mad at the world he was so mad at everything and just had all of this passion and and fury that he needed to get out and and ultimately you know, the way I look at it is our battle is with ourselves. And each time we go through it and each time we learn to let go and each time we realize, you know what, I'm the one who's doing this to me. And you realize that it's choices that we make in life. Because I will sit here and tell you first off, all of the things in my life are a direct result of the choices I've made. So. I'm learning day by day to stop fighting myself, to stop having those Lieutenant Dan moments with myself. And as I do, I believe that my real true nature comes out. So I think when I was really starting to think about the Lieutenant Dan moments, it was about, um, thank you so much, I appreciate the likes. Um, you know, as I was thinking about the moments, um, you know, I started to think about how my voice was coming out on some of my, my posts where I really had to unleash that fury. I had to unleash all those voices that said I couldn't do something, that said I shouldn't move forward, that said, well, it won't be successful, that, you know, all of this self-talk for whatever, whatever it might be. People won't like you. They'll laugh at you. They'll think you're stupid, whatever it is. I'm sure I'm not saying anything that, that most of you haven't already told yourself a thousand times over but it's time to stop that shit. So I wanted to um, to just, um, I guess, follow up with, I know that some of the posts have been very passionate, and I'm a very passionate person, but I don't think that passion needs to be anger. And, um, you know, as I learn to really be kinder and gentler with myself, I'm hoping that you will also do a little bit of the same for yourself and just be kind, be loving, and understand and really just embrace where you are right now because if there's anything that you're struggling with, anything you're resisting, chances are you're going to go out the other side and be that much better. It's it, it, it's growth. It's it's not always easy, but I think you know, at least for me and, I, and for many of the, the people that I'm surrounded by, once you get through that, it gets easier. And yeah, you might have another Lieutenant Dan moment, but guess what? It'll be easier the next time. And then the next time, it gets easier. And it's like flexing muscle. So, you know, don't give up. Keep pushing through it. 
know that um, everything that you have is, is within you and any little challenges will not last. So I wanted to leave you with that message today. I hope you have a great, great afternoon or wherever you are. Um, you know, I hope it's a, it's a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever it might be. And I'm sending you a lot of love. And if you ever want to reach out and find out what I'm doing, you can always check out my Trailblazing Leaders Facebook page. You can also um, check out the BlazingVoice.com Facebook page um, or BlazingVoice.com, which is now a website. It has my blogs up there right now, currently building it out, but I figured it was important to get the blogs out there. And, uh, and I also have a public profile page with my name on it. So please feel free to check them out, uh, see what I'm doing. Because as I figure out this whole live feed thing, I'm going to hopefully not go live in my page, but go live in some of the other pages. Um, so you can check me out there. And please feel free to send me a message and say hey. And if there's anything I can do to, to make your day any better, let me know. All right, well, you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.